Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Anywatch and we are back with another watch collection revisited video. So this time around, I'm going to be looking at the SN, San Martin SN0021B-1. So this uh, watch I've got somewhere around um, 2022 early, maybe February or March, something like that. And this is one of my favorite ever watch from San Martins because of the case shape because of the design which is of course borrowed but um, excellently done by San Martin so let's talk about the specifications then 37 millimeters in diameter from here to here a thickness of just 11.3 millimeters mainly contributed to that um, PT5000 movement and the lug to lug of 45.8 and a lug width of 20 millimeters so I do do take note that some of the versions that um, that they came out, Saint Martin came out uh, has the 19 millimeters uh, lug width. So, do ask yourself, do ask your seller uh, which version that you have. I believe that they have since uh, swap it out back to swap it back to the 20 millimeters lug width. But yeah, just in case, right? If you see someone selling it for cheap and ask them <laughs> which version, which which lug which version version is it? Um, good if you don't. That 90 millimeters lug width, you know, uh, good if you don't uh, swap out straps like I do. But if you are like me and I just like to change out the bracelets, which is of course excellent on this Saint Martin, and yeah, I do prefer to have 20 millimeters lug width. And like uh, talking about the bracelet, this is not the original bracelet. It came with what other? This is a bone clip style bracelet from the a. Was it was it a Merker watch, right? And um, this one, yeah, you can you can buy it from Merker. But I do I do did find found another seller on AliExpress which is uh, selling it for a whole lot cheaper. And yeah, for the money, I think this is one of the. Um, it is of course yeah very very jingly jingly. But for the style of the watch that just present, this is just you know this is you know an explorer style. A vintage explorer style watch and yeah i'm not gonna be saying which model it is is it emerging because you guys all know what it is but yeah i just i think this style of bracelet is looks really 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 cool right um the other con for this particular i, I just mentioned con number one which is the um the um the the, the 19 millimeters like this right this one is 20 millimeters and the con number two is that it is using a PT5000 movement. That movement is excellent, but it does drive the price up for this particular piece. So uh, they cost about 330 or 350 US dollars at some point, but now they have dropped a bit, but still not as affordable if they are using um, an a, a, a Seiko NHT T5 movement, which is weird because the other version, the SN0020, the 39mm version of the watch of this almost similar design, has a Seiko movement, and those are much much cheaper. But I prefer the 37mm because it just looks a whole lot classier compared to the 39mm. The 39mm looks a bit too big, in my opinion, especially there's quite a lot of you know blank space here in the middle so yeah I, I I don't know I just that it's a shame that San Martin never really got to you know uh, going to never really get to produce a much you know cheaper or an, or an affordable version of this SM0021 because they are and I think this model is one of you know the best uh, design ever of course not original design by San Martin but yeah still a nicely executed uh, nonetheless right let's talk a bit more about the good things right the good thing is of course the size 37 millimeters yeah excellent size if you guys like smaller watches and the um the the design of course this is in making a vintage explorer style so not the modern explorer watch i think the modern explorer design is you know being used way too much in the aliexpress and for saint martin to produce something that looks vintage is you know it really it hits just the right spot for me at least right um of course we do have all those you know series style hands and the the the, the trees nine six and nine indices are all applied and the the loom on these are really good and yeah it somehow the design works for me right and some don't like the saint martin logo applied saint martin logo and at, at the 12 o'clock i prefer it that way so yeah it, it, 
could have been you know they could have used the um the Cyrillic uh, or the Italic Italic style font but yeah I think this you know somehow gives that modern touch to the watch so that's just me that's just me right um again crown size is just nice at I think this one is six mil I think if I'm correct so yeah five point eight so just nice so hand winding the one is that one is just nice so some mentioned that the PT five thousand will break after a while so I've had this for about two years already so no issues whatsoever as of now right um there's no issues just in fact and all of the you know pt5000 that i had for the past few years never gave me any issues so yeah that's just me maybe i'm just lucky but yeah still okay so what else should we talk about so oh yes you know what let's just i've never really put these macro lines on when i review this particular piece let's just bring it closer to the uh, camera here so you can see that the apply indices are all nicely finished the hands are all nicely finished as well and the printing is crazy not no issues whatsoever and this the bezel in the bezel here is you know polish uh, and the side of the case is also polish yeah that is why we have quite a lot of <laughs> of <laughs> fingerprints here and the case design there's quite a lot of curve here so that makes it you know is uh hug, hugs the wrist much much better and the crown design the crown is you know uh, it's actually with saint martin logo there and there's no issues on the crown itself so excellent finishing by saint martin the case finishing is just nice and yeah it gives that you know premium look to the to this watch right uh case back nothing to see here so your typical saint martin <laughs> they don't really bother to gives even something some inscription or description at the back um yeah that's just it right let's just quickly put it in wrist but before we do that let's do a quick wrist watch check i'm wearing another saint martin sm0021 this one is uh, b-1 this one is b-2 so <laughs> one look at it you guys will know that what homage is this all about so yeah basically this is the bracelet that that particular watch came with so old style bracelet excellent bracelet by the way for micro adjust and yeah it is just elevates the watch but for me this design right is the better design in my opinion and that is why i prefer to put it on this bone clip style bracelet i'm not even sure if the bone clip is a trademark but do let me know guys if i should <laughs> i should not <laughs> use it <laughs> in this video right so um how do you put it you want us so you just slide through your hands like this and hopefully i can do this in one go so oh my god all right and just clip it like so and that's just a bit too tight and one more down there and yeah let's just zoom out a bit so yep too many things here uh yeah 6.75 or 17 centimeters wrist circumference perfect for my skinny wrist and some might think that it is a bit too small but i disagree because it is just the right size right let's put it on a few different straps okay guys so first up or basically the second strap for this particular piece is this um leather and nylon um style strap from uh, lovewatchstrap.com of course i will put some a proper name for this particular strap i've just received this uh, uh, i think last weekend and yeah this is a brand new strap from lovewatchstraps.com so basically what they did is just you know um, give give that hamilton style uh, strap a new look and a new design so which i think works and yeah i just love how this thing looks especially on this um how do you call this uh, feel watch style right and yeah i think this leather backed um holes looks nice it's just that these straps are a bit too short maybe it's just nice for me uh, for my skinny wrist but it might not suit you know bigger wrist guys uh, out there right um as you can see i'm on my i'm on the maybe i could go to the next one mm, yep yeah that's gonna be a bit tight so i'm i'm just gonna stay at oh my god now i'm just gonna stay at uh, hole number five uh or is it six six uh still have four holes left so that's not going to be good if you guys have bigger than uh, my wrist size right so that is how the san martin sm0021 dash b dash one looks on this awesome um combo 
nylon strap nylon with leather strap from lovepotchstrap.com so of course i will give you guys a few links if you guys uh, want to get yourself one of these right and let's go to next strap if i can do this at one go so just you know <laughs> you guys are new to this hobby so you really, really need need to have all the stuff that you need to swap out the strap so i'm just going to show you just how i do it not that big of a deal but yeah still if you guys are interested yeah maybe this is how we do it right so that that's is strap number two for this particular watch of course i will do be doing some strap fashion show later on but yeah still uh, another strap it just i just want in the video i want to show you how versatile this thing is so that is why i think this is one of the best um san martin products ever in my opinion so you can put it on a an on an fkm rubber strap right so this one again is a new product from lovewatchstrap.com where you have this tapered down from 20 millimeters to uh 18 i think let's just measure the end of the strap here oh no is it oh no yeah that is 16 mil so tapered uh fkm rubber strap which is a bit you know unique in my opinion so 20 to 16 again 20 to 16 and the texture on this particular strap is really really nice and we have that love uh, watch strap logo there uh, again similar to the uh, canvas strap or is it nylon strap the length of this particular strap is not that long so if you guys have bigger wrists in mind so please do ask the seller if they have something a bit longer so yeah awesome looking strap a rubber fkm rubber strap from lovewatchstrap.com but for me the next strap elevates the watch even further because um this is a field watch and yeah i do think that you could oh we could put it on quite a lot of different strap and those are for if you want to go rough if you want to go to the maybe mountain or if you want to go even swimming this one but if you want to go for a nice you know dinner with your wife or your partner put it on a red italian leather strap and it would look as classy and it really really looks, looks classy elevates the look of this particular piece in my opinion right you can of course choose to have you know to put it on a green leather or even a blue might work i don't know but still this red color italian leather strap looks absolutely cool in my opinion what do you guys think again um tapered 20 meters to 16 millimeters this one is from barrio singapore and we have this barrio uh, polish buckle here and yeah it looks cool and for me <laughs> this is my you know perfect strap if i want to yeah something dressy a field watch i want to give this field watch a dressy look so yeah this is the way to go for me at this right so what do you guys think of my uh, strap selection for this particular piece I think it looks cool yeah there you have it guys my two years almost two years review of this awesome watch from san martin the sm 21 b dash one still uh, for me if i am to you know ever sell uh, between these two the 21 b dash two and 21 b dash four i would sell this one because i this one i find it very difficult to swap out strap because the color just doesn't match but on this black dial you put any color any kind of strap it would just work right so that's just my opinion if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye